through the help of some cool gear, been able to capture some incredible slow motion footage of air gun bullets and pellets from the muzzle all the way to the target. A few years ago, I had the idea of painting the back of them to enhance the ability to track that bullet or pellet even better. So in the beginning, I was experimenting with different colors, so sometimes it would show up and sometimes it would not, like in this shot right here. In the early days, you can see how the white paint just kind of shows up here right at the last second. There were times that it worked great, just like this one. Uh, it just wasn't consistent enough for me. So over the years, uh, both the gear and my editing skills got better. And today's video is a look at some of the best tracers I've ever captured on film. So now with a little snap of the fingers, Let's fast forward a few years and see what the progression in the gear has made possible to capture on film. We're going to work our way through some tons of shots uh, and then get to some incredible 4K double taps like this. But to be honest, while the new gear and high-end optics I've been using just provide some insane quality, looking back, some of these early days of filming and figuring out the tracers were some of my favorite. The idea of an air gun tracer all began with this shot. And I remember not only the shot, but also my disbelief as I was editing it that my dumb idea actually worked. Things progressed into the Table for One series as I tinkered with either white or some other fluorescent colors. And eventually I settled into this orange or white depending on the conditions. In the beginning, I created this little block out of a 4x4 to hold the pellets, and then I individually painted them. Uh, this was a giant pain, but based on the initial success, totally worth it, my mind. Uh, my buddies, though, over at 68 Whiskey and Airgun Evolution started to paint pellets as well, uh, and then they created this 3D printed system to do 121 of them basically at the same time. So in addition to doing so many at once, you also get to use spray paint, which opens the door to a ton of different bright colors. Uh, these guys don't have a website because they're insane. Just kidding, guys. Uh, but I'll drop their email in the description if you want to grab one. So the modern day air gun tracer was born. And with thousands of shots on film, I grabbed just a few that illustrated how effective this method is for enhancing the ability to track a shot from the muzzle all the way to the target. Man, I love that thud.